pasta, everybody. Today we're going to go over some uh, chess fundamentals. And the first thing I want to cover is how to open. Because a lot of people don't know how to open. And then they get into a shitty middle game. And then they start hating chess. And I don't want you to hate chess, especially if you're a beginner and you want to get into it and you want to have a good game. So I'm going to teach you how to open. And we're going to take a look at this board here. And we're going to flip it. Because we're going to look at the ideal scene going forward. So black usually starts with an advantage. So I'm going to show you a, a theoretical game based on the ideal scene going forward. So let's say your opponent... Ah, it's not letting me move the pieces. All right, here we go. Flip the board. And let's say your opponent opens with e3, and you do the same. Now, what's, what's a critical way to open? A lot of people tell you to develop your pieces and castle. But that's completely wrong because castling is a great way to get mated on the back rank. So which, what we're going to do here is we're going to take advice from Kasparov and Steinitz who were actually interviewed together. They got them in the same room even though they hated each other. And they asked these guys what's the best way to open. And they both concurred, which it was just surprising that they actually agreed on something because they hated each other. But they both agreed that kings belong in the center. So taking their advice, white would make a move like this to e2, and then you would move your king up, and it'd be sort of like a race to the center. And the reason white has a disadvantage is because he has to come up with all the moves in the beginning. He has to do a lot of thinking on his own time. And if you played in any tournament play, you know that a clock has a big factor. So you can mirror your opponent's move if you're black and still get a decent position. But Kasparov and Steinitz are both dead and gone, and they've been dead and gone for a long time. And a lot of theories that you know grandmasters back then came up with don't hold, don't hold water today because of analysis by chess engines who've just found out that that's not true. So I went to some knowledgeable people, and I went, to, I went straight to chess.com, and I asked one of the vice presidents, Daniel Ranch, what, he, what his thoughts were about this. And you know, he basically said, you know, I'm just, I'm just in this chess.com thing for the money. You should really go talk to John Bartholomew. So that's what I did. And if you don't know John, uh, he's got a great channel with great content. You should check him out. And even he agreed. He's a, he's a modern day expert. He, he's up to, he's up on all the new theories and, and things like that. And he even agrees that kings belong in the center. He talks about it over and over in his videos. So you should strive to get your king in the center before you develop your pieces or ruin your pawn structure or anything like that. So that's, that's my main message I wanted to uh, get out to beginning players so that you don't, you don't just end up memorizing moves and not know why you're doing what you're doing. So I guess until next time, uh, I'll see you guys around.